Welcome to live. Uh, we covered uh, SEO on page and off page. Today we're going to talk about uh, server side optimization. So till now we finished. So we learned uh, an on page optimization how to write titles, descriptions, image alt, links, bold italic, first line of the paragraph, everything we learned. And off page techniques, the link building techniques like directory submission, blog commenting, web 2.0, article submission, guest blogging, image, video, document. So these are all the technique we learned actually. Okay. So apart from on page and off page, you also required server side optimization. So this today's class is somewhat tricky. Uh, some people might not understand this, but I'll try to make it simple, very simple, but don't need to worry. Whatever the hard things are there, there is alternate. Try to understand it because on page optimization Maybe you might do two times or three times. Off page is every day you have to do it. When you're working for the company, every day you have to do. But server side optimization only once. Once it is done, it's done. You don't need to do many times. So mostly in a company, senior people only do this server side optimization. Okay. So you need to have an awareness on what is server side optimization. But no big company will ask you to do it. But at least you should have a knowledge on server side optimization. And uh, it will be somewhat technical. Majority, if you know it, you give it to the developer, developer place in the code actually. I'll try to show the alternates as well. Server side optimization. Why this is important? Now let's see, we already know that all our content stored in a server. Assume that this is the server. In this, we have different space. This is some website data. This is some website data. Our data is stored in a server. So because the data is stored in the server, there are few things we have to explain to the server as well. Then only it will retrieve the data very fast. So that is called server side optimization because our data stored in server we have to explain few details to the server as well so what are the detail how to do that is called server side optimization here we'll be getting sitemap robots.txt and uh, non triple one two triple triple w non triple w to triple w redirection these three things we're gonna learn right so we learned in our domain and hosting so we have different websites here assume that this is Amazon and this is our website ODMT. This is career switch or something. A different website. Amazon is a very big website. These are very small websites. And uh, before this, I'll take a small example as well. If you understand this example, it will be easy for you. So, guys, this is the main road of uh, high tech city, and this is cyber towers. Assume that this is cyber towers, and uh, you are here, you're staying here, 
and one person came to you on the way one person approached you and asked uh, how to reach shilpa ramam okay this is cyber towers this is towards panjagutta this is towards kundapur so someone tell me if someone ask how to reach cyber towers how will you guide that person i think you know where is uh, shilpa ramam cyber towers does anybody know you yes guys yes sir you know it right uh, i know but i don't know how to i think i'll say that go straight and take right to the kondapur route correct see chilpara mem is just besides cyber towers exactly 5 minutes walk not even 5 minutes 2 minutes walk so he'll be telling to that person right go straight walk for 2 minutes left hand side you will be having a shilparama this is how you explain right okay but the same person asked you how to reach to ikfai business school so there is ikfai business school which is in nagarjuna circle panjagutta really to reach them reach here how many places they have to go i'm telling you so this as you know this is high tech city so first they have to come to uh, here jubli check post they have to reach and uh, from there they have to come to nagarjuna circle then they have to come to panjagutta circle once they come to panjagutta circle they have to take the wrong direction here then after so many lefts and rights they'll reach it five is in school around uh, 25 kilometers journey is there you have to guide this person to reach over there no technology used the person who is commuting is going by walk he doesn't have any gadgets nothing but still he has to reach it how will you communicate so that this guy should go to ikfai he should not ask anybody but still he could able to reach the ikfai use your brains and tell me guys how this person will reach this place without taking any other help any other gadgets yeah how will you do that he shouldn't even use a cab sir no nothing no cabs nothing but still that guy has to go there what will you do how will you guide him yeah you will say landmarks right first go to jubli check post nagarjuna circle panjagutta circle you will tell like this right after that left right left right left right but he can go all of them but when it comes to left right he will forget some left he end up in amir pet but he should not forget exactly has to reach there what he will do someone answer the question anyone who watching the video also can answer this lakshmi what will you do pawan what will you do dinakar what will you do write in your chat problem is he will remember he can't remember he'll forget then what are you going to do to remember it he'll write down he'll note down what is what i'm saying you will write down right yes on a paper so you'll write down a paper that is called or map yeah. so you are going to give a map so when you give a map what happens the person will come to jubilee check post from cyber tower so he'll tick mark nagarjuna circle tick mark panjagutta circle tick mark after that left right left right everything tick mark he'll come to ik5 because even though i'm giving a, a landmarks he has a chance of forgetting that's why we giving the map so that he will not forget it okay when it comes to cyber towers to shilpa ramam he, it was it was very easy for him because just walkable distance but where about the place which is not walkable distance and uh, so many lefts and there you have to give a map remember this example google maps yashmit you said but uh, here i said no technology using 
So normal map. Without Google Maps, we have a paper, right? In paper, you should write. Now, let us talk about our main thing. I'll try to relate this. Now, one person from India is searching for ODMT website. He's searching some page. Okay. ODMT have 100 pages. Imagine that. So someone searching uh, SEO codes or digital marketing codes, this request will go land one, go to server. Server easily find the pages. Out of 100 pages, finding one page is not a big deal. It will pick, it will give it to this guy. It's very, very easy. Problem is with Amazon only. Amazon have 35 crore pages. So someone searching for a shoes in Amazon, this request has to go to Amazon. Amazon should find a product from 35 crore. This is really hectic process. When it comes to ODMT, this is same like a uh, cyber towers to Shilparama. It's very easy. If it is Amazon, it's more like a cyber towers to ICFI business school. So many pages they have to check. Then they have to retrieve the information. So what is the solution, guys? By seeing the example, what solution give? Here, when the person is forgetting what we give, we give a map, right? In the same yeah. way, for a server also, we should give a map. So that it will remember this is called site map a map given to server and generally whenever we give a map to the person we mention what is the easiest route to go here also what are the map given we're mentioning what is the easiest ways to go to home page about us page contact us page shoe section laptop section so that is a site map Complete map of, map of your site is given to the server. So someone searching, server will check in site map. Okay, what is the easiest way? Chalo, what of what? It will retrieve the information. So if a big website have a site map, server can retrieve the data very fast. It will give it to the user. This is called site map. Is it clear, guys? Understood? Yes, sir. Understood. Okay. Right, so that, that's why remember that example so that you will never forget the sitemap. But remember, whenever I talk about servers, server side optimization, server only understand XML language. It will not understand HTML language. That is a problem. One second. So it is understand only XML language. When it comes to this map, we gave it to that person, right? Directly we'll write in a paper, draw it and give it to that guy. But it's not the same thing here. If you really want to give a sitemap to server, you have to write a XML language code. You have to write in that code only. Unfortunately, we don't know that code. But how to download a sitemap, I'm going to show you. Remember, sitemap means a map given to the server. Because if a website have more than 500 pages, server cannot retrieve fast. At that time, we have to give a map. How to generate, I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go to the robots.txt. I told you, right? Somewhat tricky, but if you understand the logic, it's easy. <clears throat> Any questions on sitemap? Is it clear? Dinakar, Lakshmi, Pawan. Clear, right? Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. Okay. Next, yeah. let's talk about uh, robots.txt. We have home page. We have about us page. We have contact us page. We have privacy page. Privacy terms and conditions and payment if your website is there so many pages are there <clears throat> okay you know what whether you submit to google or not these all pages will get indexed by default it might take some time google crawler keep on crawling the content so so sometimes even though you didn't submit it 
ऑटोमेटिकली गूगल कम एंड क्रॉल ईच एंड एवरी पेज सो होम पेज विट विट विल गेट क्रॉल्ड प्राइवेसी ऑल्सो गेट क्रॉल्ड इवन यर पेमेंट पेज ऑल्सो गेट क्रॉल्ड नो एवरी वन हैव अ चांस ऑफ कमिंग ऑन गूगल नो सम वन सर्चिंग ऑन गूगल बेस्ट डिजिटल मार्केटिंग ट्रेनिंग इन हैदराबाद योर होम पेज कम इट्स ओके योर अबाउट अस पेज ऑल्सो कम इट्स ओके योर कॉन्टैक्ट अस पेज कम ऑल्सो इट्स ओके बट सम वन सर्चिंग बेस्ट डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स इन हैदराबाद डायरेक्टली योर पेमेंट पेज कम means you are asking the customer to pay amount first so that we can uh, tell you which is the best insult that is not good right you should not ask something like that and i don't want my payment page to be come on google my website is there okay someone type someone go to the website he can make the payment but it should not be there in the google someone searching my payment page should not come then assume that i want to delete it deleting the payment page is not a solution you know but if someone want to make the payment they can't pay so it has to be there in the website but it should not be not indexed that is called robots.txt robot.txt it is a method it is a method of telling the crawler to not crawl a particular page now privacy policy terms and conditions these are not required me to get indexed not at all required so this is the method robot.txt is a method of telling the crawler that what page is required to index on google what page not clear pawan is it clear yes sir okay so you might be having n number of pages so if you really don't want to index that is the one thing that's it the last one non triple w to triple w non triple w to triple w i'm going to show you what is that okay now if you type this website see i'm typing o d m t dot in i'm typing the website you can see automatically it became to www.odmt i didn't even typed or oh, www but automatically it came but when comes to this career switch let's see this www. career you hit ekku thanga register ah the what i'm typing www.careerswitch.co.in but still the www is not coming so this website using a non triple w version when comes to here if i am not adding ww also it's already coming but here even though i'm adding triple w it's not coming at the time non triple w your website is using non triple w version how to convert to triple w this is one method why we have to do because whenever your website have your website is www.abc.com and abc.com both are same both are same right www.abc.com and abc.com both are same but google point of view both are not same this is different this is different now what happens both of them have same content but google seeing it as a different then there is a possibility google will punish one website means google is punishing your website because of duplicate content at the time <clears throat> telling them that we both are same non triple w to triple w how to redirect that's it guys these three techniques comes under server side optimization site map robot.txt and non triple w to triple w so have you understood pawan what is non triple w to triple w sir little confused can you tell that again yeah. sir so what you understood tell me the exact definition of it i didn't get it it's nothing when comes to odmt without triple w i'm typing here but it is going to triple w odmt but whereas a career switch even though i'm adding triple w it's not going it's not going so this website is using non triple w version so if your website is www.abc.com abc.com both are same but google see them as a different 
so at the time non triple w version to triple w how to convert non triple w to triple w so it's a method of telling that we both are same how to do that so these three comes under server side optimization okay so once again i'm telling sitemap is a method of if you are website of more pages server might not get a particular page at that time you have to give a map that is called site map and remember server understand only xml language how to give that map i'm going to show you robo.txt means you don't need all the pages to get index some pages you have to block robo.txt is a method of telling a crawler to not crawl a particular page what are the page you don't want to crawl that comes under robo.txt non triple w to triple w if any website is using non triple w version how to use triple w version why because duplicate content issue will come that's why we will do it this is called non triple w to triple w that's it guys these three topics just took a screenshot so I'm going to show you the process. Right. So sitemap. I told you, right, we can't write XML language. So that's why there is a website to do a sitemap. Uh, sitemap X ml hyphen sitemaps.com this is the website we have to go there xml hyphen sitemaps.com go to the website and uh, whatever the website you want to generate a sitemap assume that for this website i want to generate a sitemap go there and uh, copy your website URL I copied the website URL and click on start so copy your website URL click on start automatically this website will scan each and every page of this website because as we discussed sitemap means uh, finding out how many pages on their website and what is the easy route to find them right so what this tool is doing scanning every page and they are also scanning what is the easy method to reach them. It says the total uh, 14 pages scanned. Then click on view sitemap details. So see careersearch.co.in slash all courses about contact blogs. What are the pages you have? Everything will come or whatever you write. This is all you can download. Whenever you download one file will come. The file name is sitemap.xml so this is the file the file name is sitemap.xml if you try to reach this is in a xml language we don't understand but if you try to understand if you want to reach to the home page this is the shortest route all courses this is the shortest route about us this is the shortest route this file you have to give it to the server so that server will understand how to give it to the server how to give my file to the server you don't have to give that uh, that uh, your developer will take care when you're really working with amazon company nobody give you server access it is suicide only because you can do anything that's why you have to just uh, generate that file just give it to your developer the developer will take care your job is to generate that file only so this is how you have to do it you might be asking if it is my website how can you do that if it is your website you might be using a wordpress website wordpress we have alternate 
you know wordpress you don't need to go to xml sitemaps.com we have to use the plugin i think you have already used all in one seo pack if you use all in one seo pack automatically the sitemap is done you don't need to check anything if you use all in one seo pack or yoast this job is done you don't have to worry about it but when you're working for the html website or php website it's by default is not done at the time go to the website xml-sitemaps.com and download the file and give it to the developer he will take care clear right again sitemaps are two types xml sitemaps and html sitemaps this is till now what I learned. This is called XML sitemap. This is for server to understand. You also should give HTML sitemap. This is for the user. HTML sitemap is nothing. It's easy. Now let's see Amazon.in. Now we said that Amazon have a 30 crore product. But how a customer is going to browse, browse 30 crore product? Even if tough for them, right? That's why. See here, they gave all the links. These are all kings. So these are all HTML sitemap only. The developer should create in such a way that it would be easy navigation for the user. These are called HTML sitemap. It's nothing but navigating properly in the menu. Okay. But what you have to focus is the XML sitemap. Go to xml-sitemaps.com and download it. So try to remember this. When I ask you, just repeat it. That's it. WordPress people don't need to worry. You already have all in one SEO pack. It's automatically done. So this is how you'll be doing a sitemap. Any questions, Paul? Is it clear? No, sir. No questions. Okay. Now, robots.txt. Now, you might be having n number of pages. You may have n number of pages, but you don't want all the page. Now, assume that uh, this sample page, you don't want to crawl. Okay. Then what you have to do is go to dashboard. <clears throat> scroll down. Make sure that you install all-in-one SEO pack. All-in-one SEO pack will do a lot of work. Here, even uh, this website doesn't have all-in-one SEO pack as of now. So it's there, but not activated. So let us use the. Yeah, activate. So sitemap automatically done. Right. Now let me go to the page. Now assume that I don't want a sample page. Click on this page. Scroll down. Below title description. Yeah. So you can see that there are many settings. Click on advanced. Can you see robot settings by default use default settings there. select this then here is an option no index what are the page been there is a page called sample page what I'm telling is no index so you're telling that the crawler or I don't crawl this page so this page will never get crawled it will be there on your website but someone searching on Google it will never come so this is how you have to mention so once again i'm showing you go to the particular page what are the page you want click on it make sure that you have already all in one seo pack or yoast plugin then here click on advanced robots or settings 
here no index again no follow these all options you will be learning later click on no index so this page will never get indexed on the google but what is the topic we learning server side optimization but here we telling only to google we also should tell to the server so previously when it comes to sitemap what happened once we download we got a map called sitemap dot xml file came this file we have to submit to the server we are not submitting but we will be giving to the developer in the same way robo.txt also there should be a file called robo.txt we should explain to the server here we haven't generated but we told to google that don't crawl it google will not crawl but we have to tell to server as well here you need to write some code actually okay so here yes, someone asking how to stop already crawled and indexed page that won't display on Google. So you already indexed, okay? Same process you do it. It will take some time. But within one week or 10 days, it will get stopped. So to give it to the server, you have to write a code actually. So if you remember, it's okay. Otherwise it's easy. Robo.txt generator, small piece of code. You have to write. So I'm going to some tool here. I'll tell you which tool is good. You can also check that. Just give me one second. These are all the messy things. Only this is enough. This self, you should start with the URL hash. Hash payments. Assume that you want to stop payments page. So I came here. I clicked on what? Tools.seo book. Where is that? This is SEO optimizer. This is SEO book. I think this one I clicked. No, not this one. Yeah, this one I clicked on this tools.seo book. So <clears throat> here at this allow, I want to stop the payment page. I click on add. See this, this code will change your robo.txt file code. You can see here. This allows slash payments. Now you want to add one more page. You can write one more page slash terms conditions. There is a page called terms conditions. Assume then add one more line. We'll write it. If you remember this, okay. User iPhone agent colon slash disallow. What are the pages there? You can copy it. Just copy these things. So make sure that you remember this URL. Once you search robo.txt generator, click on this file. Once it comes, just write it. And here you have to write with a slash what page you want. Automated is writing. Copy this and uh, paste it in a notepad. Save. You have to save like this only. Robots.txt. Whenever you save the file as this, then only server will remember. See robots.txt. And I have already one file we downloaded uh, called sitemap. Let me drag this as well. Let's put all together. One is sitemap, one is robot.txt. This file you have to submit to the server. One is sitemap one, one is robot.txt one. Now, whenever you submit this file to the server, server understand, okay, this guy is talking about the pages which should not be get crawled. That's it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so it's very easy to stop the page. Directly go to the page, click on no index. 
but here you're telling only to google not to crawl but you have to explain to the server as well for that reason only we been to robo.txt generator and click on that uh, we generated a file we saved at robo.txt we give it to the developer he will submit to the root folder so that server also receive the information the last one you have to put it in robo.txt file you just give it to the developer he will take care your uh, normal uh, wordpress users don't do anything i'll tell you all the alternates here final non triple w to triple w this is your website we just now we discussed uh, career switch this website doesn't have a triple w version i want a triple w version because google thinking both the website are same and duplicate content issues coming that is the reason i have to make a triple w version here again you have to depends on one website called ht access redirect There is a website called htaccessredirector.net. This website do many things. So here, rewrite to triple W. Your website doesn't have a triple W version. You want to have it. Copy the website URL here. Your website is this. Copy it. Come back here and paste it. Okay. Come to htaccessredirect.net. Rewrite to triple W. Put it over here. Scroll down. Click on generate code. Automatically it generates the code, which is in a XML language. We don't understand. If you try to understand, it's clearly mentioned that rewrite career switch dot co dot in to triple w career switch dot co dot in. And the rule is 301. 301 means permanently redirected. If you say 302, temporary for 90 days redirected. Let us go for a 301 only. Copy the entire one and uh, paste it in a notepad. And you have to save this as save as dot ht access. You have to save like dot ht access only. Then only server understand. Now I've saved as a dot ht access. This is another file. Again, give it to the developer. This guy will take care. He will submit the website to the root folder. Then automatically you will be getting a triple W version. Okay. So sitemap. If your website have too many pages, we have to give a hint to the server that this is my sitemap. This we are doing with the website called xml-sitemaps.com. Enter the website URL. So one file will be downloaded called sitemap.xml. Submit to the server. Okay, WordPress people, you don't have to do that. Alternate is there, all in one SEO pack. Robots.txt. If you don't want one page to get crawled, what you're gonna do is go to a particular page and you scroll down. There is an option called no index. It will never get crawled. Apart from that, you have to go to a website called uh, robot.txt generator. Here you write what page you want, click on add, then one file will be added here copy this save it in a notepad save it as robots.txt that robot.txt file we have to submit to the root folder so that we are giving a hint to the server that these all pages are not required finally one website have a non triple w version how to have a triple w version we should go to htaccessredirect.net the website now mention the website url Click on create code. There is a code will come. Paste it in a notepad and save as .ht access. Now we have these three files. These three files you have given it to the guy. Now I'll tell you, WordPress people, you don't have to do anything. First of all, sitemap, all-in-one SEO pack automatically do it. Robo.txt, you know what? You're writing many blogs. Those blogs coming on top only very tough. Do you think that your privacy policy, your payment page will come on top? Never. So, no need to bother about it. Finally, non-triple-w to triple-w version. If you 
almost these days all the websites are non triple uh, w only if you have a problem now my website is non triple w what i can do is my host is a blue host if i call them within 5 minutes he will do the triple w version you don't need to worry about it when you working for the company as well senior people will take care of this but all of you should aware of this topic that's why i'm telling you okay you should have awareness on these topics okay sitemap robot.txt ht access redirect this watch this video again uh, if it is confusing you will easily understand <clears throat> but one thing you have to do sitemap sitemap automatically all in one seo pack you will do right apart from that you have to do one more thing you have to go to your search console Let's take one website. I should not tech dot woozy dot in. We'll do it. We already have a all in one SEO pack. So sitemap is generated. But after that, left hand side, you can see there is an option called sitemaps. Click on sitemap. So your file will be always sitemap.xml. You can see here HTTPS tech.wuzi.in slash sitemap.xml you have to submit here in the search console you already have a plugin or else yours is a html website you gave it to the developer once you're done here you have to mention sitemap submitted successfully google will periodically process it and look for changes you'll be notified if anything goes wrong now this is started right after two to three days it will be active it will be done so done for other websites i'll show you see sitemap already done here you can see all the pages what all the pages are there it will be done so author category page sitemap page if you see product page thousand products tags everything you can see now one more best way to check the any website if they already submitted sitemap hit the website name slash sitemap dot xml as we submitted the server right so your website name slash sitemap dot xml one page will be there <clears throat> Something happened, it didn't come. I'll check with another okay. slash sitemap dot XML. Yes, here they have posts, they have pages, they have projects. Let's check the page. When you click, you will see whatever the computer you have, how many pages they have. Also, you can see easily in the sitemap every page. Details has been given like this. Type the website name slash sitemap.xml. You will find the details. That's it, guys. This part of a server side optimization. And I was telling you that you have to give it to the developer. Assume that you are only the developer and yours is a HTML website. How will you do that? For this, they'll download a software called FileZilla. So, this is the software. You have to download so please don't do it we never do this yeah so uh, your hosting have all the credentials with the hosting credentials you will connect with this filezilla to your hosting username password port number if you give you will connect to the server left hand side all your local files will be there whatever is there in your system files all the files will be here now once you connecting the server your server files will be there like uh, your uh, what it might be server details will be there mostly the html people will be in such a way that they create a page home.html on notepad about us.html all are there in local files one by one they submit 
then only website will be live. That's why HTML website is called static website. Our WordPress is not like that. You create a page, click on update, immediately it will be live. But not, not like this uh, HTML website. Everything you have to upload. In the same way, just now we downloaded the files, right? Sitemap, robot.txt, HT access. What your developer will do is one by one, he'll submit. Sitemap, they submit, robot.txt, HT access redirect. So this is the complete process. Just check the definition of what is sitemap, robo.txt, htaccess redirect. And in interview, I just apply it. That's it. If you have any questions, watch this video again. Ask me questions. I'll try to explain you. Are why where from where this guy is coming? I'm blocking them. Block user. Yeah. Canonical, I'll explain you. One second, guys. Right, Movendran, Canonical, and some more redirections I'll be taking in the future classes. So, guys, tomorrow I'll explain you SEO setup cycle. Very, very important classes. SEO setup cycle. So, whatever you learned till now, it will be revised in this topic. Like, once you got a project, what are the steps you have to follow? How to do business analysis, keyword analysis. Competitor analysis, on page, off page, server side optimization, review. So with this one diagram, everything will be cleared. So we will be getting a chance of revising everything. And check this server side optimization as well. I'm not going to ask the questions now. But before starting the question only, uh, class only, I'll be asking the questions. So please prepare. Because in interview, without sitemap, there will not there won't be an interview. So regarding sitemap, they ask the question. Regarding what is the latest update, Google update, they'll ask you. They'll ask you what is domain authority, page authority. So tomorrow is SEO setup cycle class. Tomorrow is Tuesday. And Wednesday, advanced advanced SEO topics are there. Like what is domain authority? What is page authority? How to remove spammy backlinks? What is 404 error? What is canonical? these topics will be covering Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, we'll talk about some tools, actually SEMrush tool, most tools, how these tools are there, how to use it. And the last day, again, we'll uh, revise something and we'll talk about what is the best method to get the clients. And with that, SEO will be finished. So exactly on Friday means uh, 12th, we'll be finishing SEO. I uh, will be having one exam guys prepare that and write an exam then from 15th of august 15th uh, 15th will be exam from 16th we'll be going to the google ads google ads is really very interesting topic power any question today is everything clear hello clear sir everything is clear was the topic tough or everything is fine it is not, sir, but it is a difficult, a little difficult to remember everything you said just now. So I'll Correct, watch, but I'll watch the watch. video again. Okay. Sir. Okay. Social media after Google Ads, social media will be there. And uh, because students are there, when it comes to SEO also, I can't go too much hectic topics. That's why some people asking the question as well, I'm not answering. But slowly in these four days, what are your questions are there? We'll try to answer advanced SEO techniques. And uh, uh, in the future also regarding SEO, high-end uh, things, I manually upload the videos. I'll tell you to watch it. You can watch it. So next two to three weeks will be Google Ads or else if you spend uh, one month as well because I want to give you more knowledge on um, Google Ads. Yashmith, video editing uh, class. We are marketers. We don't have to spend much on uh, video editing. But whatever the short apps are there, I'll go and explain actually how I do that. You can follow the same thing. So Pawan slowly from basics to slowly advanced we came. 
so it's your responsibility to to work hard i can see that so many students are not regular so ask them yes. to practice because this is the skill which is really important and uh, once they get a project as well they have to finish mean they need a knowledge actually if anyone missing the class as well ask them to watch the video so definitely i will check okay. your skill on uh, 15th august there will be exam you have to through the exam based on your skill only i'll refer the clients definitely you are my students i'm going to give you clients actually you can work from home but you have to impress me that you doing because i can't blindly give a client to you where the person is not working hard you not able to do the things it's a injustice to the client actually so please learn perfectly so that we will try to get the clients okay, okay dinakar dinakar do something and uh, try to get the voice you know it's not a big deal because when you talk it will be more interactive see as of now it's good that pawan is saving all the classes because pawan is talking it's more interactive if one more people also talk it's good actually we, we should not give so much pressure to pawan as well so remaining people also if you talk it's very good okay pawan watch this video again and tomorrow i'll be asking the questions no, tomorrow seo setup cycle ask the remaining people to attend the class so with that we'll go to the advanced one and people who watching live uh, yeah wait for four more days we'll go to the beautiful topic called google ads i'll give you complete knowledge on how to work on a practical client i am while working with the clients so a lot of money we spending on that i'll try to show you thank you very much guys tomorrow we'll meet at 6 uh, o'clock take care bye bye sir. bye